Hey guys, uh, Jeff from Promar and I here. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how I like to make poke. Uh, first things first, uh, we're going over what you need. Uh, right here I use the Promar fillet knife. Uh, I use it to chop up the ingredients, also chop up the fish. Uh, you're going to need two spoons, a measuring cup, and two bowls. One large one for a mixing and the other one for your fish. Okay, and the ingredients I'm using today are tuna. I got two pounds here, two pounds of toro. Um, you could use whatever tuna you'd like, whatever part of the tuna, but today we only have toro. I also use sushi ginger for a cocky mix, soy sauce, sesame oil, ponzu sauce. I've also pre-chopped uh, all the ingredients here. The white part of the green onion, yellow or sweet onions, the leafy part of the green onion for garnish, and the sushi ginger. Uh, now that we've gone over everything you need and all the ingredients, uh, I'm gonna start off by making the sauce. First, I like to take the soy sauce. I like to put about, I don't know, about a third, third of a cup here. And then I like to use the ponzu sauce over here. Uh, I'd say about a third of a cup. This is just about an estimate, about a third. All right, and then now the sesame oil. Uh, I'd say about a third cup, maybe maybe a quarter of a cup. All right. And then what I like to do is just mix it, pre-mix it, everything. Check with your smaller spoon. Make sure everything's all mixed well in there. Now I like to take the tuna and put it in the bowl right over here. What I like to do over here is I like to mix all the onions first. And the ginger. And then I like to take some of the furikake mix over here. Uh, just eyeball it, it's all, it's all your preference. I don't have a an actual measuring for the furikake, but it's all your preference. It's more like a se that you're seasoning right over here. So, but I hold off, I put some now and I put some later for garnish, but uh, so I like to mix it all well. Make sure everything is evenly spread out. Make sure everything's all coated with each other. At this point, maybe I could add a little bit more for a cocky. So I like to mix all this together. Make sure everything is mixed well. And then what I like to do is actually take the, the sauce now that I made. I pour, right now I just pour a little bit at a time. I probably pour a third of this mix right now over it. I like to mix it first, make sure everything is coated well, or about half. <laughs> just make sure everything's all mixed. And once that's done, I like to mix the rest of the mixture. So, all right. So, you know, if you want to spice this up a little bit, you can actually, you know, put some chili oil, spicy chili oil into this. Uh, you know, whatever your preference is for spiciness. I, I personally don't, I don't mind the spice, but today we didn't put any spice in here. All right, so it's all mixed up here. Next thing is, you know, it's all done and ready. I just like to garnish it. You know, this is all just for looks. So I just like to sprinkle all the green onions here. And I like to take more of that furikake mix. All right, you're all good to go. Let's try it. Mmm. Some really good tuna right here. So, All right, guys, uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you for uh, watching me make poke today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for more recipes, uh, more fish trip reports on our website. Visit promarahi.com. Thanks for watching.